Hi everyone, this is Atif. Welcome to Autodesk Fusion 360. This is part 2 of simulation crank and slider mechanism. In this video, we are going to assemble it. In Fusion 360 system, we are going to create joints in order to constrain it. Be sure to check out part 1 where we have modeled this. So let's get started. Before getting into joints, I just want to tell that the length of the crank and connecting rod is fixed. In order to make it variable, let's create a parameter, add parameter. The name will be crank length. So basically the expression you may define it in inches or millimeter. The expression is 20 millimeter. We add an another parameter called connecting rod length. Basically, you can add several parameters using different dimensions. This expression will be 70. We can change it often. Okay, that's it. So now we have to assign this parameter to the dimensions. We'll create, open up this sketch. We'll assign this dimension as crank. It shows up great. So click enter. Stop sketch. Select this sketch. We'll assign this dimension as connecting rod length. So basically click and enter, stop sketch. Basically they are parameterized. Now we can change it. You can check it here. Parameters will just change the connecting rod length to 60. Click enter. That's how it's changed. You can change this anytime. So it's very handy. Let's get started to joints. Now we have modeled this way. We'll keep things apart in order to assemble it. We'll create a snapshot, sorry. We'll keep things apart and we'll create a snapshot. So basically J for joint. I know this face. Sorry. We'll select this face and this face. It'll create a revolute joint. It creates an animation good. So again another joint. We'll select this face with this one. Yeah, and uh, the revolute joint. Okay, now we know that the slider is a sliding joint. So J for joint, select slider, so hover over this face, hold control, and click this point. Hover over this face, hold control, again click this point. Basically, that is flip, well, again flip it out, and that's a slider. And now we know that we have to create a cylindrical joint over here. J for joint, select cylindrical select this face and this face it creates a cylindrical joint basically two degree of freedom translation as well as rotation that's great we have created a simulation joint motion study joint whatever you call it but this is very easy in fusion 360 that that's a very great pain in other softwares so basically we have to check the animation you can just double click over here manually rotate and check in order to and you quickly animate it, select the joint, just right click it, animate model, you just animate it. You can just anytime change the parameters, select the parameter, change the connecting rod length to 50, it just shows up. Everything is a parameter here. So this is joints in Fusion 360 and thanks for watching.